Hey everybody, just wanted to take a second to introduce myself to the people uh, within this Google Classroom that don't know me. My name is Mr. Krieger. I am the eighth grade global studies uh, teacher here at Seven Hills Prep Academy. This year, I will be the distance learning teacher for the social studies classes. So I will be the support system for the distance learning students as well as the students who are uh, learning at home through the hybrid. So the B day kids on A days will work with me and the A day kids on B days will work with me. So uh, I'm gonna be teaching a little bit and working with all of the students on campus when it comes to social studies. And, and that really excites me, but um, I just wanted to take some time to, to come on and just really um, let you know kind of how I'm feeling and where we're at. Cause I think it's a point uh, with all the conversations we have, we are in our um, fourth day of meetings. So we're just all at a point where it's a lot to take in. There's a lot of information. There's a lot of things going on. And it's just, it's just such a different year that we really want to make sure that we are acknowledging the realities of the situation, the realities that people face. You know, for me, um, there's just so much going on and there's so much information and there's so many different aspects that I just worry, you know, like there's a lot of worry that surrounds this school year. Um, there's a lot of concern for safety first and foremost. And as we talk about safety, we understand that there really is no way we can keep everyone 100% safe. It's just not a situation, you know, but with what we're doing on campus and the opportunity that the distance learning kids have off campus, you know, we're, we're keeping safe, but even still being on campus around people, it, it makes you nervous. Everybody here is wearing masks during our meetings and, and all of those things. But, you know, as we start this year, I want to make sure that you're aware in, in my class, in the social studies classes, especially with the eighth grade, there is going to be a lot of conversation about making kids feel comfortable where they're at and in the situation they are in. Um, we realize that when students and teachers are stressed, there's not a lot of learning that's going to happen. So I want to make sure you understand that there are going to be a lot of conversations to start the year and through the year to make sure that every student feels heard, every student feels valued, and every student um, is able to acknowledge where they are at. And we know that some families are in different spaces when it comes to COVID-19 uh, in terms of what they are doing, the habits they are going in, and, and their needs. We understand that there are families that need students to be on campus so they can work and function. We, we understand that all those things are going on, but we, we have to acknowledge that although what everyone's facing isn't the same, everyone is facing challenges and difficulties right now. And what we're trying to focus on as teachers and what I'm trying to focus on as teachers is not being so wrapped up in my challenges that I miss the challenges that our other people are facing. And me acknowledging and, and accepting that there are people who have different challenges than me doesn't take away from the challenges that I face. And we want to make sure that's clear. One person's challenges when it comes to COVID-19 in school and in general don't diminish another person's challenges. They're just different. And we're not going to spend our time here comparing who's got it the most difficult. Everybody's got it difficult right now. What we want to do and what we're committed to at this school is making sure that everyone to the best of our abilities is getting what they need. And that comes from safety first. Um, and, you know, once we have everybody in a position where they're as comfortable as they can get in their current situation, um, especially with me with the distance learning kids, you know, I'm, I'm in the, it, it's a little bit easier to be comfortable because you're in a controlled environment. But, you know, when it comes to the hybrid kids who are at home, like there are days when you're struggling uh, just with the situation, you, you just reach out and, and don't, don't hold those things in. But 
I guess the message I want to send to you is that as much as it sounds like lip service, we are committed to, to getting through this thing together. And as much as I wish I could tell you what this school year will look like, I can't. As much as I wish I could make promises to, to you of what curriculum we're going to cover and how we're going to cover it and, and, and what opportunities your students are going to have, I, I just can't. I can only promise that myself and the rest of the staff here is committed to doing what's best for your student. It's just a year where we're asking a little bit different questions when it comes to what's best for kids. Um, and if you have questions, if you have concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. We are available. Um, we are open. And, and above all, all else, we want to we wanna listen. And we want to make sure and we understand that not everyone's going to agree and not everyone's going to see eye to eye, but we are committed to making sure that everyone feels heard and everyone feels seen and everyone feels acknowledged. And, and when we get that right, we can teach and we can have fun and we can do things. And I truly believe that this is going to be a transformative year, not just for your students, but for education as a whole. And I don't mean just this school. Uh, this school year is going to open up opportunities for learning and growth that we never even thought of before because we were never in a position to think of them. So um, I read in a book uh, by uh, Simon Sinek. Uh, he, he writes that optimism is not nonstop positivity. Optimism is the hope that even in the worst times that you've acknowledged those worst times, that things will get better. So I'm optimistic, I'm grateful, I'm honored, I'm humbled to be your teacher and to work with you this year. So um, please don't hesitate to reach out and I look forward to meeting you real soon.